Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum. This is Arif. In this video, we are going to see how we can design a uh, adder 8 bit using the structural design first in a system Verilog program and then in a VHDL program. So, this is the design file of a system Verilog program first, and here we have defined a module named adder 8 and in this we have defined some outputs and inputs the sum output which is of 8 bits and then two outputs carry out and overflow and after that we have defined some inputs two inputs a and b which are of 8 bits and a carry input as well And after that, we have defined a variable result which is a wire of 9 bits. And this we are going to use to store our sum and carry values. And after that, we are using this assign statement and we are saying add a, b, and carry in and store the result inside this variable result and after that we are assigning the first 8 bits of this variable to sum to get our sum and the ninth bit of this result variable to get our carry output and after that we are calculating here this overflow by using this logic and this logic you can read some theory to understand it the logic of the carry overflow but this is the way we can get our overflow value and this is the end module so this is right now actually a behavioral program and we are going to convert this later into a structural program and i am going to show you now the test event this is the test bench of our program and in this test bench we have defined these inputs a b and c i as reg and the outputs some carry out and the overflow as wires and after this we are calling our module adder 8 here and here we are mapping the outputs and inputs using these variables and this integer i we are going to later use in this for loop and after this in this initial block we are first making our all inputs to zeros and after that in this for loop we are using this dollar random function to give our inputs some random values and outside this for loop as well we are going to give a combination to our three inputs like this and here we are ending this initial block and after that this end module so this is our complete test bench code so now i am going to show you we have already compiled the two files and now i am going to show you the simulation results Go to test bench, simulate, And these are those combinations of our inputs and outputs. So we are going to get here carry out and here the overflow logic and some logic is here. 
now let's end this simulation and try to implement our code using a structural design because right now we have the code according to our behavioral design so now what we are going to do is we are going to implement this 8 bit adder using 8 1 bit adders so in order to do that we are going to implement this logic which is right now according to 8 bits using a 1 bit inside a 1 bit adder so we have to go outside this module and create another module like this so module adder and we have air sum and carry as outputs and there are three input signals a b and c i which are all of one bit and after that we are defining here a variable result which is of type wire and this is going to be two bits because we are going to get one bit sum from it and the other bit we are going to use to get a carry out of it and after that what we are saying is we are saying add all these three inputs and store the result inside this result and after that we are going to say okay first bit of our result is going to give us our sum bit and then the most significant bit of result is going to give us our carry out bit right and now we are going to call this module adder inside our main module and we can skip these lines because we are using now this same logic inside another module Comment out these lines we are going to need some carries going from one bit modules so here we are calling those adders so we are saying the sums zero bit we are giving as output this c1 as carry out this this a zero bit as our input bit b zero as our input bit and then the carry input bit to this adder and same way we are saying here some one bit output we are going to get through this three signals this a1 b1 and c1 and carry out we are going to also get here c2 and this c2 we are going to use here c1 we are going to use here as input to our second adder like this this is our zero adder this is a1 adder a2 adder and same way we are going to implement all these adders and we are going to get the 8 bit logic out of these 1 bit adders using these 8 adders like this at the end we are going to get the logic of our overflow bit and the overflow bit we can calculate using this the carry input of our last adder and the carry output of our last adder so this is the adder from which we are getting the most significant bits of our sum this one s7 using this most significant bits of a b and this carry in 
and this is the carry out out of this adder and we are going to use both here using this xor logic like this so c7 xor c out is going to give us our overflow bit and this is the way we can calculate overflow as well other than this this is actually a simpler way we use this way inside our structural designs and this as a whole is actually the logic of a carry ripple adder so we are going to implement our structural design using a carry ripple adder we can use other adders as well which are more sophisticated but right now we are using this basic carry ripple adder to implement our design as a structural model so this is the complete logic now let's save this compile this code go to simulate and we can see the same input and accordingly the outputs in this simulation window in this wave window so let's end simulation go to this design file and now we are going to see that we can implement even this code line using the structural design approach and we can use outside this module another module which is going to give us our XOR logic so we can give our code here another module so this is x or one bit and it has one output and two inputs and here we can either use this logic the xor or this logic like this as well to get our xor logic so here we are saying assign to s but check if a not equal to b then give one to our output otherwise a zero to our output which is actually the logic of our xor gate and after that we are going to call this xor gate here like this and we are mapping the outputs and inputs here so this is our output and these two are our inputs just like this let's save this and now compile this and simulate this and we are going to see the same combo of inputs and outputs so end simulation so this is the way actually we can convert our behavioral model into a structural model in a system very log program and now let's go to 
our bhdl project and i am going to show you how we can do the same stuff using a bhdl program so this is the design file of our main entity and here we have defined an entity adder 8 it has three outputs some carry and overflow and three inputs a b and carry in and after that in this architecture of adder 8 we have defined a signal result which is of nine bits and using this code line we are going to add our three inputs a b and ci carry in and we are going to give the result to this nine bit signal that's why we are using here nine as well and here we are using this convert integer function to convert our values inside vectors into integers and then we are going to add those and here we are going to use our convert standard logic vector function to convert it back to a vector and store inside this vector result so these we are going to get from this library these functions and after that we are going to use the result from the first eight bits as a sum and from the last most significant bit as a carry and here we are going to calculate our overflow bit using this logic and after that we are ending here our architecture so this is right now our behavioral design and we are going to convert this behavioral design into a structural design and i am going to show you the test bench as well this is the test bench adder 8 same inputs and outputs this is our component of our adder 8 inside this architecture and here we are giving the signals and later we are going to use these signals once we are going to call this entity adder 8 and we are going to map our inputs and outputs using these signals this one and this one and after this inside this process block we are going to first set up our all inputs to zero values and later we are going to change those values so that we can try the other input combinations as well to see our outputs and here we are going to end this process block and here we are going to end our architecture so i have compiled these two files already and i am going to show you first the result of this code using the simulation so simulate go to this wave window So this is the way we are going to see our all outputs according to these inputs. So this is our input CI, this is our output C out, this is our overflow logic on the same pattern we see like we saw in the case of system very low program.
and now let's convert this design into a structural design and in order to do that we are going to use this logic and create another entity adder which is going to be a one bit adder and those one bit adders we are going to use to design our structural adder and that design is going to be according to a design of a carry ripple adder so here we are using this 8 bit logic and we are going to skip out these lines and we are going to use the same logic but using a 1 bit design So uncomment these lines and this is going to give us our one bit adder and here we are saying this entity the name is adder and these are all one bit inputs and outputs some carry and a b and c i inputs and after this in this architecture of adder we are going to define here a signal which is variable result and it is going to be a vector of two bits and first bit we are going to use to get our sum bit and the second bit we are going to use to get our carry bit and here we are going to apply the same logic and here we are just adding all these three inputs but now our result is going to be two bits that's why we are writing here two and first bit of result we are assigning to sum second bit to our carry out and this is our complete design of our one bit adder now we can call this one bit adder here we have to call this as a component here as well like this and now we can use this here and here we are using the same logic of our carry ripple adder and this is the least significant sum bit and we are going to get this sum using these least significant bits of our inputs a and b and this carry in and this c1 is going to be our carry out and we need some carry outs as well so we can skip out these lines and include this line so these are all carry outs of our one bit adders which we are going to use here c1 c2 c3 these are all carry outs these are all carry ins so this is the way actually the logic of our carry ripple adder is and at the end we are going to calculate our overflow bit as well using this exclusive or logic like this so we are going to exclusive or c out and c7 this carry in of our last adder one bit adder and the carry out of our last one bit adder which we are using here so we are going to XOR these two signals like this let's save this Compile this
and we can see the same output signals according to our input signals like this and at the last we can implement actually this logic at the end to calculate our overflow bit by using an XOR entity as well and in order to do that we are going to define another entity outside this main entity which is going to be our entity to give us our XOR logic and this is entity XOR one bit and it has three inputs and it has two inputs one output and in this architecture we are going to implement this XOR logic like this the same way now we can call this entity inside our architecture first as a component like this and later we are going to use this component this component inside this code to implement our logic of overflow bit like this so we are calling here x or one like this and mapping the inputs and outputs like this is this is our output overflow and these two our inputs I selected go to test bench and we can see the same inputs and output combinations let's end this simulation so thank you guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this video have fun